In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, I bear witness, there's no God but God, and Prophet Muhammad is his slave and messenger, and I seek refuge in Allah from the rejected Satan. So in this video, I'll be discussing about Imam Mahdi, the Mashiach, and the future system in the Golden Age, um, uh, how it's kind of how it's going to look like and maybe some of the ideas and technologies we have today will be implemented in the time of Imam Mehdi inshallah. Uh, so I've done some studying in the financial system. Uh, most of my life I stayed away from the financial system. I really didn't desire money and um, it's sort of a trap uh, to desire money and power. Um, <clears throat> Allah will definitely set you up uh, if, if you go desiring down that path, um, I've experienced it myself uh, by my means of studying the the, <clears throat> the financial system to help uh, in the process of uh, the future uh, um, in the future world for a better, brighter future in all aspects of life. So finances is, uh, is one that was very unfamiliar to me in my earlier days and so I've done some research in that to like I said to help the cause of Allah and to help the future uh, governance of Imam Mehdi inshallah so if we look at the financial system today we can see that uh, the banks are printing money uh, they're loaning it on interest so um, interest is obviously high on um, you know, Allah's made trade lawful and interest unlawful <clears throat> um, and made usury unlawful by printing exorbitant amounts of paper money uh, it robs from future generations, it robs your savings and it robs your salary because your spending power dramatically decreases as everybody can see the prices are uh, steadily rising um, as as I am speaking this video and will be continuing continuing to rise until uh, a proper system uh, that is ordained by Allah so to have a proper uh, system of finances the finance system has to take care of all the needy people has to take care of all the poverty you can't have people starving and homeless people uh, everybody needs to have their basics needs met first and foremost and that will obviously be a staple uh, for the system of the Mehdi uh, in the world to come. <clears throat> so an interesting thing that I've looked into was Bitcoin and Bitcoin uh, and cryptocurrencies have a lot of great technology. Um, the technology they use is blockchain uh, which is very similar to the DNA uh, strands in our human bodies. Uh, it works by putting information in blocks um, and is a very efficient way to store and keep uh, uh, the information honest. <clears throat> um, so basically it works, uh, information is stored in blocks and they're connected through a chain and that is similar to a DNA strand. <clears throat> so it's a great way to keep things honest and pure. Uh, so the technology there is great but the problem with uh, that I see is uh, with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and the financial system at large is that it is uh, primarily run by greed and they just want more crypto or they just want more money and uh, you know Allah says if you're gonna chase money and power you're basically chasing a shadow you'll never catch it and uh, you'll see that in the end that it was a complete uh, farce to do so so I recommend nobody to chase money to trust in Allah uh, don't you know try to avoid being greedy and uh, wanting more that uh, you know Allah prescribed us to just ask for what we need and to be humble and Allah has power over all things Allah is in perfect control of everything and uh, we just need to trust in Allah um, we can have things manifest in our life that you know money wasn't required to have or to get that uh, particular thing so um, we have to kind of change our mindsets a little bit we have to remember that Allah can set us up um, you know if we're desiring finances or whatever too strongly that Allah will set us up 
and for failure to show us uh, the wrongness of our actions. So um, back to the cryptocurrency uh, system and the system we have today, the fiat currency. Um, you know, uh, they can print as much money as they want, and uh, so uh, and the banks are lending it all on interest back to the uh, country. So and then the taxation is just taking uh, the rest of the savings from the people and the hard-earned money uh, without due process, uh, without fairness um, and equality. And so it's just a vicious cycle of robbing the people left, right and center, uh, mostly under their noses and they don't realize it. Um, Cryptocurrency is a lot more fair system. Um, like I said, the blockchain technology keeps transactions honest and fair and uh, uh, prevents double spending and inflation and whatnot depending on how the cryptocurrency is set up and the programming so it's more trusting numbers more trusting math uh, it's a more honest system uh, but the problem with these cryptocurrencies is that they don't have a proper way to um, dis distribute the wealth to um, the people so um, people who have a lot of money can make more money uh, in the cryptocurrency space because they have more capital and then the people with lesser um, capital can't make as much and then you know the big players move the markets and you know manipulate the markets in their favor to smash the beginners and new people coming into the market and basically taking their money so uh, it's not a very fair, it is fair in some ways, but unfair in others. So um, the system of the Medi will have more of a fair system of finances while making sure the um, uh, making sure the needy people uh, are first and foremost taken care of that, uh, you know, get to a point where people would look for to give charity but can't, can't find anyone to give charity to is the ultimate goal of the Medi. Uh, to give money without counting, uh, to make sure everybody is taken care of first and foremost, and uh, that's what a law prescribes to uh, to do and to encourage others to take care of the needy people uh, first and foremost. <clears throat> so there's more than enough money in the world to take care of everybody, um, so this won't be an issue. It's just a change of mind and heart. So I believe Imam Mehdi will. Uh, the system of the Medi will use uh, portions of the uh, blockchain technology. Will they use some of the cryptocurrencies exist today or make a, a currency that is uh, more fair and be able to dispute that wealth among the masses? For example, um, having a system where <clears throat> every child is born has a certain percentage of the, uh, of the currency. Um, uh, on uh, the level of population uh, so each person coming into the world will have a certain X amount of money uh, to take care of their needs or whatnot or on a monthly basis uh, something like that uh, can also have uh, microchips put in uh, paper money to make sure that uh, there is no uh, printing of excess money or counterfeit money uh, so people are, are not being used by inflation. Um, so these uh, can go back to uh, gold and silver uh, coins uh, to transact with um, as the value is, uh, uh, there's value within the uh, metals themselves. So all these uh, different options uh, uh, or in combination of these uh, may or may be used in the future system of the uh, Imam Mehdi and um, um, I believe that there's uh, good to take in all, all of these and to leave the uh, negative aspects behind and to do what Allah makes lawful and to stay away from the unlawful things that Allah forbids obviously no interest um, having free trade for everyone Allah's made trade lawful for everyone uh, no requirements of licenses and whatnot to trade as long as they're in harmony and balance uh, with the universe um, <clears throat> and not con causing harm to others that are violating other people's free will and um, things of that nature. Um, 
so those are my ideas. Um, you know, uh, do I think Bitcoin is still a good investment? Uh, yeah, it probably still is a good investment uh, in the long term. Um, if you wait, uh, you know, years to come, I'm sure the price will go up. And, you know, I'm trying to stay away from uh, the cryptocurrency space as it is driven by a lot of greed. And, um, you know, the all they care about is more more crypto and more and more money and uh, they're ignoring the creator of the universe um, that should be more prevalent in their lives and um, so you know I try not to desire money or anything that Allah will take care of all my needs um, and so forth and I really trust in Allah the unique creator of all that exists and uh, I try not to uh, run after money or things of this world is that is like chasing a shadow so I hope you enjoyed the video um, this is just a brief uh, overview of the future of finances in the golden age to come and uh, so if you have any comments or questions uh, feel free and uh, I've got some uh, really interesting things coming up that I'm working on I'm gonna not uh, leak anything out right now. I don't want to give the enemies of Allah a heads up to what I'm doing, but I'll be working on things for the uh, foundation, foundation of the new world for Allah, the unique creator of all that exists, and the system of Imam Mehdi, the Mashiach. So once again, I hope you enjoyed the video. May Allah guide and bless you, increase you in life, in harmony and balance. May Allah protect the believers, and may peace and blessings be upon you. Thank you very much. Peace.